Hi ladies, August 22nd today. One moment kiddo. Today is my birthday so everything is coming out a little late but it's still coming out. I'm going to try a new format this week because next week we start with our major September-ish challenge. So, alright. Remember we're still focusing on laundry this month. Getting it to where we have it constantly going. To where it's not piling up. And everything else like that so we are in zone four this week the master bedroom your mission today is to get anything that does not belong out of your master bedroom now for some of us that is a lot of stuff so maybe we can't get it all in 15 minutes but you're ahead of where you were before you started now yes sweetheart um well i do mom a pretty ring you got me a very pretty ring for my birthday with his own money i might add Yes, so Saturday we will do the reverse tornado home blessing. So watch for that to come up on Saturday. All right, so here we go. We have our mission. Get everything out of the bedroom that doesn't belong. We are in zone four. We are keeping up with laundry. It is time for home blessing. So see, this is where it differs. We're just doing the one video a day. Um, one at a time. That's right. So we need our timer set to eight minutes. And music. Dress to shoes, music, and water. Remember, you don't need to do your home blessing not, not all in like one day. You. you can do your home blessing throughout the week. Just revisit the video. It is on top of your flight plan. Um, just check off the boxes as you do them. Eight minutes. You're not cleaning your home. You're blessing your home. So don't sit there and think you have to get through the entire house. Start where you left off last week. If you're able to get everything, wonderful. If you're not, that's okay too. Some of us have much bigger houses than others of us. So if it takes a while to get through it, it takes a while to get through it. So here we go. We are going to start as usual with dusting. We are going to dust over things. We are going to get our Swiffer duster or our Fly Lady duster. Yep. And we are just going to dust over things. We are not taking a rag and cloth and cleaning every single knickknack. No, we are not. Why? Because this works and it makes the house still look good. So, eight minutes on the clock. Set your timer. Pause this video in three, two, one, go. All right, now where did I put my pen oh here it is we're doing blue next up is smudges why are we doing smudges well we are doing smudges on our glass on our windows on our doors and on our mirrors because there's no sense in cleaning the entire thing and if it's if it is not dirty there may be some mirrors and some windows and some doors you don't even need to clean so then let's not bless them let's just leave them alone and get the smudges on the ones that we have Start wherever you left off or keep going throughout the entire home. You have eight minutes. Pause this video and here we go. Three, two, one. Pause that video. Next up is culling. So, culling, <coughs> aka decluttering. Um, take eight minutes, declutter some stuff if you need to declutter. Declutter your magazines, cull your magazines. Call your kids' magazines. Call the broken toys. Go through your mail if it piles up throughout the week. Um, go through paperwork. Go through bills. Maybe pay some bills for this one. Um, you have eight minutes. Pause the video. I see you. Set the timer in three, two, one, go. Yes, child. Um, going to room with your child and go to some stuff to donate. Yes, you can go in with your child and get some stuff to donate. Very good idea. Next up is sheets. Okay, so. Your sheet and your sheet if empty. What was that, kiddo? Get in the video. Well, make sure your washing machine is empty before putting sheets into your washing machine. Right, because sheets cannot be washed with anything else in there because they are big. So, um, 
if you're doing that make sure you don't even bother to make your bed up that day get the sheets stripped and in the wash right away because there's no sense in getting them after you've already made the bed that's silly now it helps if you have that second set of sheets in between the mattress and the mattress pad then number one it doesn't take up storage number two they're right there so then that way you don't have to worry about hurrying and rushing to get them done so you don't go to sleep on just a plain mattress I set my timer for the washing machine I know it takes 40 minutes for my washing machine to get done because my dryer beeps so that reminds me there wash machine does not however beep so in order for me to keep going I set Whoa. my timer what's up honey the tail is Oh, yeah. So you. And it could be the schedule there, but as well as cables. Maybe. Okay. You have eight minutes to get your sheets done. Timer starts. Three, two, one, go. What did you have to say? Um. The sheet takes the space if you do not put on your bed. Right. Okay, next up is Flag Hitch's sex favorite. Vacuum. And my papa needs to work on my shop now because one got stuck. Yes, it does. Okay, so we are going to be vacuuming around piles, around tables, around chairs. You oh. see the theme. We're not going under anything. We're vacuuming the middles. If you have a robot, red do your thing. Yeah, so if you have a robot, let it do its thing. Oh! If you have hardwood floors throughout the house, then use this time to sweep them quickly or maybe take a dust mop to them or okay. whatever. I have two things to say. Okay. Vacuum your house floors or sweep them. Or, or you can use your, friend, use your vacuum to do furniture furniture yes you could even take some time out if maybe this week you want to get your furniture so or vacuum your mattress while the sheets are gone sprinkle and some baking soda on it vacuum your mattress off after an hour well vacuum the bathroom like mama does take the edge of two and vacuum the hallway and your children's room right well i'll vacuum my room with my room more. yes so eight minutes get done what you can it is not a race to beat the timer it is just blessing our home getting done what we can all right you got eight minutes set your timer pause the video three two one go okay now we have trash so let's get rid of our trash make sure you and see you vacuum if you vacuum it's broken just fully away right empty out your vacuum get all the garbage cans around get all that garbage out also take this time if you have piles of giveaway to get that stuff out to your car yes honey um if you vacuum does soak up stuff it is flawed if it doesn't work right if your vacuum doesn't work we should throw it out well not leaving a plug in the i do not remind it to you guys but it's kind of scary. It's kind of scary. It turned into evil vacuum cleaner. If they leave it plugged in? Yes. Okay. So don't leave it plugged in. All right. So here we go. Timer starts in three, two, one, go. All right. Now last up is mopping. So those of you with hardwood floors and more than a couple areas of your of your home or um, non-carpeted areas in more areas you can use this to mop not just your kitchen and your bathroom but the rest so take eight minutes but mop the middles we are not mopping the edges timer starts here we go three two one all right so you have now blessed your home and you have gotten rid of what doesn't belong in your bedroom have a wonderful monday i will talk to you all on tuesday Bye.